Hello travelers, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the Flughafen Express or FEX, the Berlin Airport Express. This is the fastest way to get from Berlin Airport to the center and vice versa. So if you are looking for the best and fastest way to get from one point to the other, this video is for you. We are taking the FEX from Central Station to the airport in this video, but of course the informations in the video are the same for the route from the airport to the center. Welcome to Berlin, the vibrant and dynamic capital of Germany. If you are arriving at Berlin's Hauptbahnhof, as the Central Station is called in German, and want to get to the airport, you'll be pleased to know that there's a quick and convenient way to get to BER Airport. Operated by by Deutsche Bahn, the Berlin Airport Express is a comfortable train that will take you every 30 minutes from the center to the airport in just under 40 minutes. In my opinion, Berlin Hauptbahnhof is a very nice and modern railway station which opened in 2006. For first time visitors somehow the layout can be a bit confusing. The tracks are on two separate floors. There are four railway tracks and two S-Bahn tracks above ground on second floor and eight long distance tracks plus two U-Bahn tracks in the basement. And that's where the FEX is operating. The FEX will depart from track 3, 4 or 5 depending on the departure time. But please check the exact platform at the DB Navigator app shortly before departure as there might be platform changes due to delayed trains, constructions and many more reasons. And there is the ride of the day. A five coach double decker train pulled pushed by a class 147 locomotive. Most of the train is second class. The upper deck sections with a yellow line under the window are first class. We had the FAX included in our first class long distance ticket, so we got into first class. If you are just riding from Hauptbahnhof to BER or vice versa, extra money for the first class isn't worth it. You see why in just a moment. So this is first class on the Berlin Airport Express. The seats are in a 2-1 configuration, you get a bit more space than in second class, foldable tables and the compartment itself is of course very empty. That's the difference, nothing more, nothing less. Worthless to pay for an upgrade. There are good first classes on German regional services, which the Flughafen Express is, that do provide more value like the RRX in North Rhine-Westphalia or the Twindex trains from Frankfurt to Würzburg. But this one isn't one of them, because, let's be honest, it's pretty outdated. By the way, only 5% of you are subscribers. If you are enjoying weekly trip reports on trains, planes or buses and like the video so far, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. It will be highly appreciated. Thank you. Let's talk about the tickets. The Berlin Airport Express is part of the public transport system, so you can book your ride from any station in Berlin, whether it's a bus, tram, S-Bahn or U-Bahn stop. The ticket will cost an adult 3 euro 80 for a single ride, valid for two hours. A pack of four tickets will be available for 1380, so you will save 1 euro 40 when you are traveling as a group of four. Kids fares for ages 6 to 14 are 2 euro 70. Kids under the age of 6 are traveling for free. Those tickets are fixed fares. There is no difference if you buy the ticket 2 months or 2 minutes in advance. The easiest way to book a ticket is the DB Navigator app. In fact, just recently the app got an award for the best mobility app in Europe. With the Navigator you can book all kinds of tickets from a simple bus ticket to a cross-country ICE trip. So I would recommend you create a Deutsche Bahn account, download the app and purchase your ticket as you need it. 
payment can be done via credit card, debit card or PayPal. If you want to purchase your ticket the old school way, there are a lot of ticket machines inside the central station and at the airport. At the airport even on the platform. The machines are accepting cash and credit cards. Of course, they will operate on many languages. The FAX is taking a very direct route to the airport with only two stops at Berlin Gesundbrunnen and Berlin Ostkreuz. There are no interesting sights to see. If you want to do some sightseeing while you are traveling to or from airport, take one of the other regional express services between Central Station and the airport. Those lines are taking a more scenic route through the city, passing the Berliner Dom and the famous TV tower next to Alexander. Platz. Choose for yourself, what's more important to you? A question that I got a lot on an older airport shuttle video is if there is a luggage limit. No, there's not. You can bring as many bags as you can carry. But if you are traveling with big or heavy items, I recommend you look out for the bike compartment. Because only there you will find a step-free access to the train. Keep in mind that the bike compartments prior for wheelchairs, strollers and bikes. So you might have to make space for other passengers. But it's very unlikely that there are a lot of bikes between Hauptbahnhof and airport. Last but not least my thoughts on the FAX. The train service itself is good, the travel time is relatively short and the space on the coaches is good for travelers. But in my honest opinion the FAX is not what I as a world city or a German rail operator would like to present to visitors as a first impression. You see, those double deckers are pretty outdated. The Germans had to wait so long for the new Berlin airport. In fact the construction was 9 years delayed. So Deutsche Bahn had plenty of time to order new trains for a double-decker airport shuttle, like a Siemens D0 HC or a Stadler KISS. But sadly, they seem to scramble all old coaches together that are not waiting for the scrapyard, lower tourists and visitors expectation of Germany. With those run-down coaches, traveling in Germany can only get better after a ride on the FAX. Anyway, I hope the video was helpful to you and that I covered all your questions that you might have. If not, let me know in the comments down below and I'll be happy to assist you further. So tell me, what do you want to see next on this channel? What should be covered in the next weeks? Are there any services you are interested in? Please share your thoughts in the comments as well. As a last action, let me say thank you a lot for watching and have a great time and always safe travels. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.